Hey guys, it's Eli and Cole, back with a official music video reaction. Uh, Tom McDonald, White Boy. This was a request from Tony J. Yeah. yeah. Second, I think this is the second request we've done from him, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. We've done a lot of requests. Or we've been doing a lot of requests. But so thank you for the comments. Thank you for the support. Yes. And thank you for the re the uh, request. We appreciate it. What? Finish the heart. Oh. We for always, everyone requesting. For everybody. We always heart your comments if they're good. Yeah. We trust them and good. So. Yeah. Almost overwhelmingly. Yeah. Um, we appreciate that. So, yeah. Um, I've seen this a bunch of times. I've also seen like 100 reactions to this. Mm -hmm. It gets pretty good reactions, but um, it's a touchy subject. Mm -hmm. So. I've... I I've never actually listened to the song or watched the video. Mm -hmm. I've um, I watched a reaction video to it only because I knew the person who did it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I'm vaguely familiar. Yeah. With the song. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah it's uh, got a message. I like how his hair is like checkered. Yeah. I not feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose, and I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. Like, you can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. And not white supremacist anyone who labels me is that because of my genetics in the back hatred for caucasians is so pathetic go be proud that so just a little aside here um i saw a video where he was making this video mm -hmm. it was the making, making of and he showed everybody he was like in an actual classroom i don't know if they were students or i think they're actually students i'm not sure though hmm. um but he had them listen to the song before he he did it because he was like, I don't want any surprises here. Here's what we're doing. And then he like went through the class and like, or the actors or whatever they are, whoever these people are and talked to them. Like, what do you actually think of it? Yeah. You know, did it offend you? Because the problem is, is if you look at this, like you can agree or disagree with what he's saying, you know, there's valid points against and for what he's saying. But the problem is as soon as he said it, the people in the audience there around him, we're just like, you can't say that. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, hear him out first. Yeah. You know, just because he's saying like a trigger word or a thing that people don't say doesn't mean he's wrong or right. Mm -hmm. It just means listen and see what he has to say. Be open-minded. I think that's really the problem is so many people aren't open-minded now. No matter which side of whatever you're on, mm -hmm. just listen and then make an opinion after you listen. I agree. Um, but I thought it was funny that he went through and like let them listen to it. Yeah. Just like... Just, just so you know what we're getting into, if you want to be on this video or not, yeah. <laughs> might be controversial. And it has a ton of dislikes. A ton of likes, but a ton of dislikes. You're black, too. but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil. Neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say... The white race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. I like how they have them voicing. They're not voicing it, but keep sinking it. The teacher's like, just calm down. If a black man is sipping on some cognac sitting next to me, I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't dislike Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a waste of energy. Ivory or ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same. Martin Luther King or Kennedy. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white and he raps. He stole the culture right from the facts. Okay, it's fire, but we lick him. And then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. I've seen a lot of reactors confused about what he means by painting me with the same brush you paint slave owners with. Like, I think that's a common term to say painting someone with the same brush. Yeah. Um, but a lot of confusion on what he means by that. Is it obvious to you? It is obvious, yeah. yeah. I got a mother, a father, a sister, an auntie, and uncle. Go ahead and hate the races. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone, regardless, and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop before you say it. Race for things I didn't I do the and decisions I didn't like... make. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave. And the teacher is like, stop just my class. Yeah. 
Plus, the teacher keeps getting hit with stuff. Yeah. I like that. When I'm wrong, I would never plot against him just because he is different. I would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. Got no patience for Nazis. I think they're better off dead. The fight and hate you when they show it after the hate more intense. I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence. So don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies being white and being racist aren't the same man i promise no it's hard to tell the difference if i'm just being honest I white boy don't say that white boy oh you so bad white boy you wish she's very expressive mm -hmm. white boy, this teacher white boy. White boy, white boy. <laughs> <laughs> the face oh, <laughs> I didn't hear with the paper, so it seems like he's crying because the paper. Yeah, paper. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Is like both times they showed him crying, he's getting hit with paper. And he's just like, I'm over it. So, um, the way I see this video, because I know about Tom McDonald, I know his politics, mm -hmm. and he's not what people would think just seeing this. He's mm -hmm. not an ultra conservative. He's not you know, anything like he's really, he's a Canadian first of all. And he's a really seems to be from the interviews I've seen a really open-minded person. I think a lot of people get a wrong idea from him. If that's all they see, mm -hmm. he's not to my, my understanding, he's not saying white people are oppressed because that's a hard argument to make. What he's saying is everybody feels a certain way and they feel like other people in currently in the country, people are degrading them, whether they're white, black, Hispanic, whatever, they're being minimalized because of what they are. So being black doesn't mean your opinion doesn't matter. Being Mexican doesn't mean your opinion doesn't matter. Or Mexican descent or whatever. Any Hispanic. I don't know why I said Mexican. Why? So, so my friends were Cuban, so I should be including all of them. But white, mm -hmm. your opinion matters. Mm -hmm. Maybe not to everybody. But yeah. it shouldn't not matter because of your race. Yeah. And... Like, we should not listen to a black person or a Cuban person or a Canadian just or a Christian or a Muslim or whatever, you know, you want to whatever thing you want to segment people into. I don't think he's my understanding is he's not saying white people specifically. That's just his point of view. Mm -hmm. He's a white person. Mm -hmm. You know, just everybody can have an opinion and everybody should be able to express that opinion and talk about it. Yeah. And maybe you don't agree at the end. Kind of like, uh, you've seen Joyner Lucas, not racist, right? Or heard it? I'm not racist. If not, then we need to. Yeah, know. I have. Okay. That's the same point he's making is they're both stereotyping. And like, that doesn't get you anywhere. Like, just listen and agree to disagree if you have to, mm -hmm. you know? So I think people kind of gave him a bad rap, but, um, I like it. I think, that, I think everyone just kind of assumes that you're going to stereotype. Yeah. No matter what race, you race, gender, right. religion, whatever you are, I think people just always assume that the opposite is going to stereotype them. Mm -hmm. And I think then people just go... And people and do. Just, people do. I'm not saying they don't. People yeah. do. And, you know, I think, so, I think a lot of times people just go into it with the assumption, like, this is what's going to happen. Yeah. And they get listening. defensive. Yeah. And, they, and I understand why people do that. Yeah, definitely. Whether it's right or wrong, I understand No, I, I, um, yeah, I get it. But I will say that this is, I mean... I don't know, maybe it's because we just live in a small town or something. Mm -hmm. This isn't really something that, you know, has ever come up in my life. Sure. With this happening. But you're in college um, and we, you do, you might not hear it, but people in your age group do tend to sometimes say like, shut up and don't listen. You know, don't, don't have an opinion on that. Or mm -hmm. your opinion doesn't, like he says at one point, you know, how's a straight white male in 28 bitching? They cut, he cuts out the curse words. But, it shouldn't matter that he's straight, white, male. It should just matter he's a person with an opinion. Don't demonize that. But also at the same time, like, you know, he says he prays for the racist extinction. Like, yeah. you shouldn't, on the other coin, like, don't tell a white person to shut up just because they're white or male or straight. But don't tell a gay or trans black person mm -hmm. that your opinion doesn't matter. You know, like just listen to people who make an opinion, you know, and you're yeah. still, you might, you're still going to differ. Nobody agrees on everything. And I think he's saying though too, that like, 
if you are racist or mm-hmm. sexist or homophobic or whatever you are, then like, yeah, he's not saying like, okay, if a racist person comes up to you and, you know, is being mean or whatever, he's not saying listen to them and be oh, like, sure. okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. normal people. I understand, but if someone like just has like a, I don't, I can't really think of an opinion that someone could express that would be like normal that would. It happens though. It like, happens. People just, I and like you said, it's because they're defensive. They're making assumptions before the conversation happens. Yeah. And I think that's the problem is people are going into a conversation assuming not only what you're going to say, but also what your opinion of them is. So, and don't think just because the name of a video or a song is White Boy and that he says, I didn't, you know, lynch you. You know, those are trigger words, but it doesn't mean that he's saying something bad. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the point is that all the negative feedback he got on that song when he really, there might be things you disagree with, but he didn't actually say anything really offensive. I think the other thing, too, though, is some of the things he said, like, you know, I didn't lynch or whatever. Mm-hmm. Those are things that, like, you know, the few interactions I've had with someone who I think is, like, truly racist, like, those are things they say. Like, yeah. Those are things they'll oh, be like, well, I'm yes. not the one who did that. And it's insensitive to say. And it's insensitive to say. And I don't, I wouldn't and, say that. And then so they follow anybody, it but... with like a really, well, I would, yeah, I would never say that in a conversation. Yeah. But I think the other thing that maybe my people may not like is those are terms that only, that I've only ever heard from really racist yeah, people who then true. follow it up with some really racist comment. Yeah. And or to or to excuse like well I'm not racist but but yeah. X group is X thing yeah you know and then they're like well I was but I wasn't the one that yeah. was you know enslaving you or yeah. you know kicking you out of the country or whatever so I get what they're saying you know but that comes back to assumptions yeah don't assume that just because he says I didn't own a slave because he says you know I never owned a slave neither did our dads or our dads dads mm-hmm. you know don't assume that I'm going to follow it up with but. If every group in this thing wouldn't do this thing and then act this way, then, you know. Yeah. We live in a small town, mostly white. Mm -hmm. Uh, At least that's where we're exposed to. So we don't experience this kind of thing. We just see it. And the news tends to blow this stuff so out of proportion. You don't even know by the end if the person was really offended or didn't meant anything. And you hear so many different – you hear one news story that talks about it. And mm-hmm. says, you know, this horrible thing that happened. And the next one says, well, nothing happened. Oh, I just saw one like, where a Jewish guy was getting, I didn't read the whole thing, but I saw two stories. And the, it's exactly what you're talking about. Jewish guy was getting on an airplane, or a person was getting on an airplane, and asked for anybody who was boarding the airplane that was Jewish to raise their hand. It was on video. Well, that was taken completely out of context. It turns out he's a Jewish guy who wanted to pray with other Jewish people. So he was asking, are there any other Jews here that I can pray with? And... Out of context, though, they were like, he asked if there's Jews here. He's racist. Can you believe this was allowed? He was allowed on an airplane. Well, he was allowed on an airplane because he was looking for someone to pray with. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't doing anything wrong. But the media, the first story I saw was just that he's racist. Mm -hmm. So you never know what to take seriously and what not to. But I don't know. I liked the song. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, he's taken, maybe taken a little bit of uh, current social issues and just turning it into a, a popular music trend. Mm-hmm. But I also think that it's okay to talk about that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it's okay to have a conversation about that mm-hmm. and to expose people to different views. Yeah. You know, that's my opinion on it. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I And you know, the last, the last Tom McDonald thing we reacted yeah. to, I kind of said that I didn't really feel like it was well written or that mm-hmm. it was, that it was like he was relying too much on like the, the trendiness or the, yeah. Like the shock factor of it. He is relying on trends in um, certain points. But I think that this song, he, uh, he was really saying things. Yeah. Let us know what else you want us to watch, no yeah. matter who it is. Mm-hmm. As long as it's good, we'll watch it. Yeah. And if it's not, if it's good, not good, we'll still, we'll still watch, watch it. Because we won't know. And we'll let you know. That's the whole point of reactions. Yeah. Us letting people know if we like it or not. Mm-hmm. So.